YouTube, Toby from Oz here. So I've had a few interesting car projects over the years, one of which is this Mercedes-Benz hearse. Uh, was going to turn it into a limousine but unfortunately decided against that project and that vehicle has moved on. More recently I ended up with this Prius C. It's a 2012 model. It's done about 1200 kilometers from here. And this, combined with my Morris Minor Ute, a 1956 Morris Minor Ute, leads us to the E Minor project, a long term project which I hope to share with you guys on YouTube. From the ashes, the phoenix will arise. The mighty Prius. The mighty Prius will one day power E Minor. Da, da, da. An 1956 Morris Minor Ute. It'll be a hybrid, hybrid electric, used for farm vehicle and also local deliveries and a bit of advertising. Plan will be chop off everything behind here, grab the battery out, grab the electronics from the dash, grab the subframe, mount the subframe into E minor. Once E minor has all this gear, we then have to obviously repair the front end so it still looks like a Morris Minor. It's the same wheelbase and the same width as a Morris Minor yet so that at least is in our favour. We shall see. Loaded. On the farm, we have a Daimler, which still runs, believe it or not. Got the XJ6, even the Skyline. Bigger bucket for my back, eh? But as far as the minor project is concerned, we've got the chassis for E minor sat here. So you might say, God, why wouldn't you just throw that away? And the reason is the body panels are all clean, straight, prepped, rust ready for final paint. And originally I was thinking about converting this into an electric vehicle and the usual method by people suggesting it is to put a forklift motor in the front gearbox and then the trans behind it. And while that would have worked, we would have ended up with the gearbox tunnel remaining where it was and a gearbox. So. What I ended up thinking about was how to get batteries. And when I found somebody, one of my mates came back to me and said, oh, look, I don't know about batteries, got a whole Prius. We got talking about it. And one thing leads to another, and now we've got a whole Prius. And the thought after watching Bad Possession Motorsports is why not just slap the Prius running gear, put a column shift to match up with the Auto Trans, 
keep it all the dash original but fit up air conditioning electric windows uh, anti-lock brakes all that kind of fruit and all this is pretty much surface rust give it a sandblast paint and then do any mods that we need to do so whilst it looks like a basket case it's actually not as bad as it might otherwise appear and it'll be a real sleeper whilst we're on the subject of Daimlers here's another one fairly straight clean needs a rust repair about the windscreen but this also runs starts drives stops it's actually in really nice condition other than needing a coat of paint and a couple of bits of rust repair up there I'm sure once we get into it it'll take a bit more than just those one or two little bits of rust but there's plenty of spares in the other two to fix anything that might need to be done on this one I think and uh, they're quite a quite a nice ride anyway on to the other projects